Hey, welcome to the breakout session on arousal dysfunction. So arousal dysfunction can come out of autonomic nervous system dysfunction and autoimmune disorders too. We know this. And in this section, I want to focus primarily on sexual arousal dysfunction, what I call SAD. The reason most people have SAD is because of internet addictions, especially explicit matter. So you can see how all of these breakout sessions can be, can be combined or can be a shared experience for one person. In this breakout session, what I want you to know about arousal dysfunction, especially SAD, is that you might find that your brain is in 88% calm, like I mentioned in the introductory lesson. So what you might find is that you are stuck in artificial neutral. So this is going to make it trickier for you to use this headband without professional neurofeedback. So my first recommendation, if you can do it, please get a cute EEG brain map with me. I'll be able to show you the levels of arousal dysfunction and the truth of the matter is there's two bandwidths in alpha. There's low alpha and faster high alpha. Your brain is likely stuck in one or the other. Usually it's fast alpha. What I also see is that your brain cannot make slower alpha. So the protocol for healing erectile dysfunction, delayed ejaculation, sad sexual arousal dysfunction, it's actually more complex than using this headband. This headband can help you if you can't afford time, energy, or money of getting a QEEG brain map, stay with me here. But what I want you to do is figure out if you feel more unmotivated and running slower, like slow alpha, more artificial calm where it's difficult for you to go do things. Has your get up and go got up and went? It's difficult for you to engage in your life and go do work. Approaching and engaging is difficult, so you are stuck in couch mode, or does it have more of an anxiety component to it? If it has more of an anxiety component to it, you're likely stuck in fast alpha. If it has more of a stuck on the couch mode, you're likely stuck in slower, lower alpha. So if you're in low alpha, then when you use the headband, do something that increases focus, like reading. If you have more of an anxiety component, use the headband by itself and get into more of a meditative state of calm or slow alpha. So let me repeat that because that's going to be your hack for arousal dysfunction. And I'm going to keep following through with this as we keep working together. But your initial brain hack is check in with yourself in terms of self-regulation. Do you feel too calm, stuck in couch mode, unmotivated? If so, when you use the headband, do something that includes focus like reading. If you feel more anxious and a little bit more jacked up, use the headband in a way to calm the nervous system the way that it's designed. You can close your eyes and get into a meditative state. Okay, because this is what I want you to know. If you're getting scores of 88% in the calm and you've got nothing but birds, but you have ED, it's artificial neutral. So the solution is to jimmy your brain out of that artificial neutral and your graphs might get worse before they get better because we have to resensitize the reward center in your brain because it's been desensitized. The desensitization has you lingering in artificial alpha. So if you're still engaging in anything that desensitizes your brain, like explicit matter, you have to figure that out. I offer a program called Heal Your Brain from Sad at Home. It's on my website at drtrishlee.com. It could be imperative for you to use alongside of the headband. I will teach you everything that you're doing that's desensitizing your brain, and I will teach you to resensitize your brain. I will teach you what causes erectile dysfunction in your brain, and you'll know exactly what to do. So you might want to add that program in conjunction to Brain Training 101. If you're not in a position to do that, stay here. I'm going to give you information in Brain Training 101. I just give you a lot over there and heal sad at home. Okay, so for now, 
please use the uh, tips that I'm giving you there, the brain hacks, for healing arousal dysfunction using the headband. Stay with me here month to month. I'm going to keep giving you more strategies so we can bring your brain back online and bring your arousal back to healthy baseline so you can have the life you want and deserve. Stay with me here. I'll see you in the next lessons.